Howdy. <laughs> fence time. Oh, another fence. So at the farm property, we don't really need privacy like we needed here on this fence. We're going to put in a smaller four foot dog fence and it's going to be a mix of wood and wire. And a lot of people have requested information on this fence. So I figure I better do a video on this fence too. So hold on. Hey guys, uh, before I begin, I'm going to be doing probably one of the most important wintertime treatment videos, our second pre-emergent treatment, and I'm going to launch that video probably in about six days, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. Ooh. Especially if you have problems with poana and winter weeds, you're going to watch that video. So make sure you subscribe. But let's talk about the fence. This is a six plus one back here. This is a seven foot tall privacy fence and it has board on board construction with sort of a mission style slat on the top. I did a video on this one. I figured I'd go ahead and do the video. Just, I'm not gonna do anything super detailed on it, but I figured I'd show you it being built and talk about the construction a bit. A lot of people want a dog fence, uh, just mainly to keep the dogs in. We wanted the dogs to have a view. We don't need privacy. We've got 40 acre farm property. There's no one around us except for cows. And so we don't really need privacy. So we wanted um, a smaller fence, a four foot with wire so the dogs could see out of it too. And it didn't obstruct the view. We don't want to close off that view. So before I begin, let me just run through how this fence is constructed. Every time you have a gate opening, you want to use a six by six post. Every other post is going to be a four by four. That's pretty standard in the fence industry. And then what we're going to do, once those are mounted in, we're actually gonna take black wire and they unroll the black wire and they have a pneumatic stapler and they staple the wire on that fence. Then they come back and they put the crossboards and the crossboards, I believe, gosh, I wanna say that they're one by sixes, uh, one by sixes across it that they come across and put. And then where those one by sixes meet, they actually put a one by three strip on top of that joint. And that's pretty much how it's done. I like to use caps on top of my fence posts. I think it's a nice finishing touch. They brought with them the cap, same caps here, which are the brass or copper top caps. I think I'm gonna switch them over to wood for the farm property. I'm gonna leave those on for now, but I'm gonna switch them. The next thing I'm gonna do is we have a huge termite problem out there. <laughs> so uh, if you stick a piece of wood in the ground, within about three or four weeks, the termites will move into it. So what I'm do going to do, not in this video, but next week, Ryan and I are gonna go out there and we're gonna mix up some termicide treatment. The same termicide treatment I put around the house and we're gonna pour that around each fence post. And that'll last for three to five years. It'll just kill any termite that comes in contact with it. I could have probably put some of that into the cement while they were mixing it, but it doesn't really get evenly distributed that way. So I figured I would just go ahead and just treat afterwards. That's it. Let's go out and uh, I'm gonna walk you around the house a little bit too and show you the roofing has arrived, the siding has arrived, and uh, I'll just walk you around and show you the fence. Morning. So today is fence day at the farm property. And what we're doing is we're doing a, um, basically a dog fence. <laughs> so we're doing a backyard dog fence. It's going to be a four foot tall fence with slat rails and then black wire on the inside. So I figured I'd just shoot a little video. I'm using the same fence crew that I used for the other house that did the big fence over there. Uh, same company, they do a pretty good job, get everything wrapped up, no issues, and their pricing is really good too. So, their whole truck is here today. So, here is basically the premise of what we're doing. Four by fours on the posts. These will be for the gates. Uh, and then you have your cross slats going across, and then you have your black wire, black wire down here and that'll all go in. They'll drill their fence post holes. We'll sink them in cement. And the only thing, the first thing you do, of course, is you call and get your property marked. We only have one underground wire on this whole property that's a utility. And so I've got that marked over here. And I was here when he marked it, and I asked him to mark it real heavy over here where this is the fence line. So the fence is gonna go up here. And I asked them to mark it real heavy here. And then the fence is gonna go around the back. Of course, sort of a little curve over there. 
and then come in. Now what I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two eight foot gates and they're gonna be a four and four. So it's a double four, it's an eight foot gate on hinges. So if I need to bring a vehicle in, I can bring a vehicle in, equipment, whatever. I originally was gonna go an eight and a four and I changed that to a eight and an eight. So the four by fours they're using are 12 footers. They're gonna cut them in half. They're gonna sink them 24 inches. They're gonna put cement and then they'll have four feet up. So one little note I'll give you is, um, we're having all this siding taken off and replacing it with smooth siding. And when you come down here next to this block, there's actually going to be a cement footer. And they poured a big footer here when they built this house. So I told them to leave just a gap here so that they can take the siding off. And I'll come back later and we'll go ahead and we'll work this out somehow so that um, the dogs can't get out through this gap here. Measuring and marking. Just under eight. That's where he marks. It's smooth. So let's go back and let's look at. They've been here. They've been on the job site. Uh, they started working about 8:30 or 9. It's 10 o'clock now, and they've got all the holes drilled back here, and now they're setting the posts. So basically, we've got a six-foot post that we're sinking close to, oh, just about 24 inches, just a little bit less. And then we're cementing them in, making sure that they're level. And then they'll let those sit probably overnight. Let's see. And then we're going to put the wire on and then put the board over the wire is the way it's going to go. That's a neat little trick. So we have a, for the height. Yeah, made a little tool for the height on there. That's pretty cool. So let me pop in here real quick and talk about the concrete mix that is used on these fence posts. The majority of people, they sell a fast setting concrete mix that most people use in this process. And once you put it in, it'll set firm within like an hour. It's really quick, firm setting. But you don't have to use that necessarily on this type of fence because we're not supporting a huge amount of weight. There's very little weight involved with this fence. Now on this fence, you would have to use it. You'd have to use it, put it, and make sure it sets really strong. But on this fence, there really isn't a whole bunch of supporting weight. So you can use, uh, you can use the, the high tensile strength concrete on this too, which takes a little bit longer to, to actually completely firm up. But within a couple hours, it's firm enough that you can actually go and actually start working on this fence. You put a little bit of water inside your hole, make sure that your concrete post is where you want it, and then pour the concrete mix inside of it stop check your level again make sure the height and everything is correct on it then pour the rest of the concrete mix in and then put water back on top on the top as well now what happens there's actually a youtube video guy showed uh, does this process actually work and he pulled one of his fence posts out to check it and it was rock solid so he put water in the bottom poured the concrete mix on and then put water on top and came back like uh, a week later and pulled one of the fence posts and it was rock solid, but that's how you do these things. It doesn't, we're not supporting a huge amount of weight. Now this fence, this fence is a big fence with a lot of weight on it. There's a lot of boards and a lot of weight. So these fence posts went in, uh, they went 36 inches down and did the cementing. On these fence posts, we're only running 24 inches down cementing and it'll be fine. It'll hold it just perfect. Morning. <laughs> I was up in the tree stand and I could hear all my guys working here. So I've got the fence crew here and I've got the general contractors here. These guys are fast. So let me show you how this is done here. Right now they're putting on the gate. And they actually, they actually build the gate whole 
and then they cut it in half, which is pretty smart. But you can see. Hola. Hola. Oh. I say frío. <laughs> so. What we've got is we got a four by four post. Then we have the wire and then we have the board on top of the wire and then a board on top of that board, those double boards there. So that's the construction for this fence. And, and the girls are gonna love this. What's interesting is, is they build this whole wood frame all at once. And then they build the separate panels and then they end up cutting the, they end up cutting this out, which is kind of cool. That way you know you're completely square. They mount it up, they put the hinges on, and then they cut it off, which is cool. So I've got a usual ground peg there. Post up. I'm gonna put some self-closing hinges, I think, on this, on one of them. Maybe not both of them. So that's my gate. Now I did have them leave. I had them leave this space open. They were gonna attach, they were gonna run the wood out and attach it to the house. But I told them all this siding's coming off. So we're just gonna bend this wire back. Just like that, so that they can get in there and take that siding off. And then I went ahead and just placed on the caps, the four by four fence post caps. Uh, we have copper at the house too. It's a copper and wood cap. I may just go with wood. I don't know. I'm debating it. Hey guys, so it's actually Thanksgiving morning. The project, this fence project took these guys one and a half days to actually do and man it looks great so we're going to stain this and i'm going to stain this with a 50 50 mix of cedar and dark brown i'll mix that up if i go with just cedar it'll turn to orange dark brown it'll just blend in i want that stand i want this fence to actually stand out have a little bit of an orange color to it so as you can see it looks kind of white right now but man, what a great looking. This is exactly what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted for the girls. They have a real nice big backyard now. So these fence posts are actually 12 foot posts that they cut in half and they sunk them about 20 inches in the ground and cemented them and then they put the wire up, they stapled the wire with a uh, staple gun. Then they put, they measure halfway. They measure from there to here halfway and they cut it. This board is then attached and then this top board comes down, got it? The fence post spacing is just under eight feet and that way they're able to meet these halfway in the middle and join them and then put a cover board on top. So let's talk about staining. Uh, I'll use probably a, um, it's a hybrid stain. I used to use, uh, what was the one I used before? I've pretty much gone with Valspar now, which is a water-based cleanup. And we're gonna have to give this, because of the temperatures, I'm gonna have to wait until I get a good five days of just dry weather, which may be a while before I put some stain on this. Typically you want your moisture level to be at about 12%. I'll get my moisture meter and I'll come out and check it. But I will tell you that this type of pressure treated wood really doesn't suck up. It's kind of smooth and it doesn't suck up a lot of color. So just be aware of that. It's not gonna take a lot of color. Um, we may have to come back with two light coats to sort of darken it up. One to seal it and then right away one right behind it to darken it up. What else on here? That's pretty much it. I will come back. Now, let's talk termites. This area is, if you take a stick and put it in the ground, within two to three weeks, the termites are gonna be on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up. Ryan, I'll have Ryan come out here. 
he's gonna mix up a termicide treatment that we do around the house and we're gonna pour probably about one to two gallons on each of these fence posts of that termicide. That'll last for a good three to five years. Any termite that comes in contact with it, because we have wet termites in this area, any termite that comes in contact with it will slowly die, go back to the nest and so on and so forth. So yes, I will be treating it for termites, just on the fence posts. So they were going to tie this in here and I told them not to do that. I told them just to leave that open because they're gonna be taking all this siding off and I didn't want that to happen. But look at the cows. Hey cows. Hey cow. Hey cow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> My neighbors, the cows. So. <clears throat> Originally, I was going to do a four foot over here and an eight foot over there. And I said, no, nah, I'm going to do an eight foot. Oh my, look at the cows running. <laughs> They're sprinting down that field. Sorry. Concentrate, Doc. So I'm really happy with that. My metal roofing showed up yesterday. All right, so we've got, what do we got here? We have got ice and water armor. High temperature stability. This is, looks like a coating they're going to put on there on the roof. And this is a standing seam galvaloon silver. That's the roof we're doing on it. That's nice. <laughs> the poor guy delivering this stuff had to bring each pallet down. I just want to make sure none of it got damaged. Looking good. And the siding, the new siding is down here. The new cedar shake, which is gonna go up in these little triangle areas is here. And then we're gonna tear off all the siding and put up smooth siding. So next week is gonna be a busy week. Hey guys, hope that video helped. If you're looking for a dog fence video, make sure you do hit that subscribe button because like I said, that pre-emergent treatment video that I'm gonna have come out is really focused on Poana, and unfortunately, I'm a little bit late. I'm starting to see some Poana come up, so I'm gonna have to kill off some winter weeds and put down that pre-emergent. Doc.